Hi Aquarius, welcome. For today's reading, ah, well, one, forgot we're gonna do a giveaway. Okay, the giveaway for the Manifesting Greatness reading. And as I'm, let me get the numbers together. All right, y'all, let's get the numbers together. And as I'm doing that, I'll go through the, kind of the download for today. All right, so this reading is the numbers. This reading is for January 24, 2023. But you, whenever you see this, this reading is for you, okay? It is timeless. Sometimes my readings are manifesting now or they're going to manifest in the future. But take it how it resonates, all right? Yes, yes, and yes. And with that said, the numbers that came through for today are one, two, three, and Spirit had me put it just like that, one, two, three, 24, 111, 1111, and 808, okay? So I noticed uh, Spirit had me underline the numbers in as three, two, three, two, which is 55, okay? So something you guys are manifesting, some kind of a change in your life. It might have something to do with finances as well, all right? Or just a shift in your mindset when, ha when it has to come to do with, with uh, finances. And then when I did the numbers out, I noticed uh, adding the, the first three, then the second two, the first three, the second two, we got five, six, three, eight, okay? And then that turns to 11, 11, okay? So if some of you guys aren't manifesting money, you're definitely manifesting some kind of wish fulfillment, okay? Yes, with that 11, 11, wish is coming true. And today is a five day, okay? And I felt like when I, when I was looking at the numbers, I saw one, two, three, and excuse me, and I was like, there's some kind of process that you guys are going through that you have learned, and I feel like what's happening is you're manifesting, um, maybe going through it again, because you're going to surprise yourself how easily you get through the obstacle or you get through the challenge, okay, because you've learned your lesson. You Now you're turning that, that lesson into wisdom, and you're able to execute something very, 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 very good or very, very well is what was coming out. Mm -hmm. So this is the giveaway, all right, I have the numbers in here for everyone who entered, thank you, and this is for the orange heart. Now listen, I know that I didn't say orange heart on the video for um, 122, but it was orange heart, and I realized that some people may have saw it as like yellow, because I saw a mixture of it, so I just entered everybody in who put an orange or yellow heart, okay? <laughs> Yes, and next time I will say like orange heart and on the audio, okay, guys, so that there's no confusion, and and everyone's because you know people's phones, tablets, all that stuff. The resolution uh, is different, and everything, and the color pixel is different, and blah blah blah. So, so this is for to win the manifesting greatness reading for one twenty two. All right, and drum roll, please. I'm gonna call the number. The winner is, oh, isn't that interesting? Number 15, and we got, oh, can you guys see that? Is that like so bright? Hold on. I might have to change the brightness of this. Let me feel it. Huh. Maybe that's not, that's not, I don't know if that's better. That's not better for me, but, oh God, no. <laughs> it's just like so. I got to put it back here. It's number 15, okay? So whoever got number 15, you are the winner from January 22nd. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Yes, yes, and yes, yay. So I will post this. I will pin on the comment who won, and I will also contact you in the comment itself for that video, which is like the orangey looking corally video is what this one is for. And also, if you could email me at thevisionary317 at gmail.com, okay? Yes, to claim your reading. Woo! All right. There we go. 
So I know that we didn't do, I, well, I, I didn't forget. I just, I just felt like no <laughs> in the sound of reading yesterday that we did for you guys. I just didn't. I was like, no. So we will put an emoji in the middle of this reading for you guys so that someone else, another, um, someone else has a chance to win a happy birthday reading. All right. The manifesting greatness readings help you break through any blocks or limiting beliefs um, that are keeping you from manifesting or receiving your highest joy, living your greatest life. Okay. So yes, yes, and yes. So here we go. Spirit wanted me to bring out these cards. I haven't used these in so long. Spirit Aquarius, please. And um, these are the cards I first kind of used when I was using tarot to heal my chakras, okay? And to learn about my chakras too and like what they meant and patience, okay? Coming out. Service, guilt, and impasse. Okay, so we know that we're doing a lot of sacral chakra cleansing right now, right? So, Yushimada. I speak like language if you guys are new to my channel. It's just a form of communication from me to spirit, and also it is sound healing, all right? repairing healing your dna activating your dna healing your light body that kind of thing and growth mm, okay yeah so i feel like oh yeah ushimata i feel like what's happening is that you guys are are definitely releasing creation I feel like you guys are releasing um because I'm, I'm dealing with this this five and these four ones you know the five of the day and then the four ones where i didn't reduce them i mean we could reduce it to number four which would bring stability security and protection right but um i i never like to reduce the 11 11 you know and so i feel like what's happening is that there's some kind of there's, there's definitely this grief and this, this poverty kind of energy, all right? This guilt, this, um, because there's a person here in the background and she's just like, I don't even know what she's drinking, but she's like, she's like sleeping and the other person is ironing. So I feel like whatever resentment, because I, even though the word's not here, but I feel this very powerfully, like whatever resentment that you had that was stopping you from coming into full service, you know, maybe um, guilt about the past or guilt about um, a mother figure or how you were raised or um, something that you may have been ashamed of or something like that. I feel like all of that is being released. If you took care of a sick, uh, a sick um, family member or if somebody is sick right now, I feel like the energy of um, there's few things coming up it's energy of I should have done more and you releasing that you know um I should have done more while they're alive you releasing the guilt over that and also um I think some of you guys are holding the guilt of your parents for maybe not taking care of a grandparent or something like that or or just or them just feeling like they could have did more but they didn't all right this is a very specific so it may not resonate with every single one of you guys um but I feel like that is really coming, that is really being released, okay? And it might be, again, just a lot of heavy, um, maybe you might have watched your mom or, um, or a feminine figure in your life, like do all the work, like maybe your father was an alcoholic or something like this, um, or maybe there was an alcoholic in the house and you watched that, right? You know, so... Whatever that guilt was between the two of them, I feel like that that energy of you holding on to other people's uh, emotions is is releasing, and it's allowing you it's allowing you to grow. It's allowing you to really get to the root of what has been causing you to uh, feel like 
you don't know which way to go, this impasse, this confusion, and also um, you understanding why you might have impatience in certain areas of your life because of any flight, flight, freeze mode type of programming from when you were a child and you, Michael helping you to release that. A lot of anxiety is being released in the collective right now, okay? So it's really causing you to, um, some of you guys are cutting some big cords as well with this bittersweet, you know, it's like um, you don't really want to do it, but you know you have to type of energy. Or you're doing what's for the best, you know, with some of you guys. Like this person, they have a happy birthday cake and they're giving it to this man as a feminine, giving it to like a man energy and he's like not paying attention to it, you know. So this is also maybe the the energy of um, transformation and rebirth, like a lot of times you have to leave old old things behind people groups jobs ways of being ways of thinking um you might have to leave your home uh you know these kinds of things and it could be bittersweet even though it's like happy birthday here's your new life but there may be some things that need to be let go and you're grieving over that some of you guys mm -hmm. but i feel archangel michael coming in really strongly helping you guys to cut <clears throat> to purify okay to purify yeah look at that with ace of wands in the moon so there is something coming this creation energy there's been a lot of um shamic uh shamanism and shamic kind of like shaman work being done uh right now when you guys are sleeping i feel that really strongly um, you might even be called to listen to a lot more drumming or um, you might be called to be outside in nature to touch trees more. You might be called to work more with your crystals and things like this or even with your ancestors. Like we've been listening to the Lakota um, lullaby like probably the past couple of weeks, but we just listened to it. It's like been almost the only thing we listen to. And... Um, so you may be just really getting in touch with your ancestors like that and maybe maybe helping to heal you in that way to really ground your energy so that you know which way to go you know it's just a negative energy that is kind of um blocking you right so here goes this right here too with the ace of wands and then the moon so what i'm feeling Yeah, you are. You're in your new beginning. You're in your new beginning. And if you don't feel like you are, it's only because there's this energy that you have to, that you need to release. Okay. And I, yeah, and I almost feel like this, this is what it is. Like this is the moon. All of this in here is the moon. And so it just requires you to be patient with yourself and to dig deep. And also to notice in ways in which you're hanging on to the past because um, you feel it is bittersweet. Like some relationships are just not good for you, right? They're just not good for you. And no matter which way you look at it, it's just, it's, it's just, it's still a no. It's still a no. And in that energy, you have to come into acceptance with that. All right. So that's also why a lot of the sacral chakra stuff is here too. Mm -hmm. yeah and it's like I feel the energy of this growth card wanting to grow new roots like wanting to grow new roots you guys also may be called to because um, you're growing new abundance as well you might be called to put plants in your home and your um, you know in your bedroom or, or where you do your your artwork or your reading or in your kitchen like wherever you are the most you might be called to feel like I need to put plants here yeah Mm hmm emotional fulfillment and five of pentacles so what's kind of blocking this you from fully embracing this new beginning it's just releasing the negative energy okay yeah so let me come yeah all right they said to take them yeah but look you're transmuting that you're trans you're transmuting this Mm -hmm.
So there is going to be um, some kind of new contract that you guys accept, a commitment, all right? And you're transforming all of this energy to prepare you for this. Whatever this new commitment, it could be anything. It could be an exercise program. It could be, um, you know, a new affirmation that you're going to commit to, I don't know, saying, singing, writing, you know, speaking all day. It could be a new book that you're going to read. It doesn't, I don't feel this, and especially because, I mean, the major arcana that are in here are not uh, like the tower or anything. So I definitely feel like it's just a time of transmuting those heavy energies and you really devoting and committing to that. All right. Yeah. And working with your guides to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And then here goes the five. Here goes the hair font. And then here goes the Two of Swords. So I feel like... <sighs> I honestly feel... And I and I got this big like... I've been doing that a lot. Just like a big like... <sighs> like get it out. Like let it out. You know, you you have a little bit of frustration. Just let it out. You know? And I feel like what's been happening is... What you don't... What you don't see is that all you have to do page of wands on the bottom all you have to do is follow your heart is just follow your heart like truly follow your heart like ask yourself if all if if all conditions were like this the way that that you're you want them to be the way that your wishes would be would the answer be yes or would it be no would the answer be go left or would it be go right you know what I mean? So that you can take all of the fear out of it and the anxiety out of it and the, the trying and the efforting out of it and just follow your heart. And it might be just as simple as I'm seeing popcorn as watch a movie. Okay. So it's like spirit is saying, I need, I, I want you to dial it back. I want you to dial it back. I want you to dial it back. I, I need you to stop focusing on the heavy energy right? Like to stop focusing on the heavy energy and allow me to come in and transmute this for you. All right. Allow me to be the magician in your life. Okay. Because this also feels like a hospital room with this growth in here. And usually like when you're going to the hospital, you're not, there's nothing you can do. There's, there's nothing you can do. You have to let the uh, professionals, the, the workers there do do the work. So this is kind of like this energy of, yes, you're the magician, but your job in this, in this instance is to kind of listen to your heart and just allow and accept, okay? And so, and that also means taking action on um, without judgment, without doubt, without insecurity, and just in taking action, you know, which me, I'm not going to say that's going to always be easy, right? You're, you still might have some stuff. And if you do, do something that makes you feel good to where you can, whatever it is that you committed to, to help you stay grounded, whatever it is that you've committed to, to help you stay clear, balanced, go do that or do something, watch a movie. Mm-hmm. But whatever it is, you truly mastered it because this Hierophant, with the Four of Wands and the Hierophant coming out, that's like super duper commitment, right? Like super duper commitment to something that is, um, I feel like it's to you, but it's also to whatever your craft is, whatever this, this Ace of Wands, this, whatever you're putting your energy in that is your passion, okay? Five of Cups. Yeah, so releasing the past. For a lot of you, uh, one of your biggest abundance blocks right now might be releasing the past and just allowing yourself to let go of disappointment and fearing and expecting more disappointment. So therefore, I don't act or I play small because I don't want to be disappointed. You know, it's that energy of, um, you know, hope for what is it? Hope for the worst and then and then you get better or something and, and pray that you you get better or something like that. So it's like changing that mindset from, you know, hoping for the best and praying that you get even better, you know? And then also 
releasing the fear of the unknown that came up in a couple of client readings as well and entrusting okay spirit is saying trusting which i feel like this is what this is all about right now is you just kind of trusting because i don't see any yellow outlined cards here with the solar plexus so i feel like that might be where where you're sitting right now okay which would make sense because the solar plexus is fire energy and there's the ace of wands okay mm -hmm. so it really is a longing yeah and so i also feel what you don't see coming is a new beginning in truth, a new beginning in uh, increased confidence and self-esteem, I heard, all right, where insecurities are released, and you just, you take action with gratitude, oh my goodness, look what popped, wow, yo, that is what's up, okay, ace of swords and ace of pentacles coming, all right, so a, a monetary gift of some kind, some kind of material gift, I just heard an airplane and I'm seeing an airplane. So maybe you guys are going to fly somewhere. Maybe somebody's going to gift you a flight somewhere. Comment the hourglass to win a manifesting greatness reading. Yeah. And I just heard take off. So it might even be um, something's on the horizon. I just heard. Right. So it might even be. Yeah. Look at that. An offer of love. Okay. But this is, you know what? This is interesting. I've never seen this combination right here with the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, and then the Empress. Okay, yeah, okay, thank you. So I feel like Spirit is just saying be patient, all right? An offer of love is coming, and just be patient. So tend, tend to, to your garden, all right? Tend to your garden. So positive thoughts, tend to your garden, and open to receive with the Empress. Remember that whatever it is that you have, you're nurturing it right now. You're growing it. So you have to treat it as such. If you were, you know, growing a baby or something like that, or if you had a little baby pig that you had to take care of, okay? And you had to had no mama. It was a Wilbur, okay? You had to take care of it. I don't know why that just came up, but it did, Charlotte's Web, because you're manifesting with all those ones, okay? You're manifesting with all those ones. So... Spirit says, you don't see it coming, but it's coming. Be patient. Be patient. Yeah. And just and just release those residual energies. The moon is coming in really strong as well. So if any of you guys feel called to work with any moon gods or goddesses, um, yeah, definitely. That's, that's a yes. Okay. Celine, Kuan Yin. Okay. Mm, all right that's what i have for you guys thank you so very much and namaste